Alright gang, I believe we're looking at episode 15 of Storm Dame Let's Plays, as ever since we started. It's uh, Donkey Kong 64 part 15. Um, I need to do that return. That's for my own sinking purposes. Alright, so last episode, we started out. We, d we just started out with this uh, level of Gloomy Galleon. I believe we got two bananas total. Not quite sure. Well, I, I know we got one for uh, for Tiny in that ship there. Up. Oh, yep. Time limit. Um. I don't know. I was really not in a good mood. I know how it began. It was. <laughs> uh, it began with that fly swatting game and trying to get to that. Uh, oh, that barrel. In the uh, Angry Aztec uh, entrance temple part. Yeah, not not really gonna put me in a good mood, but let's uh let's just continue. I think uh, some of the best let's plays um, come when when you are uh, and when you do come up with fun stuff to talk about, but sort of at random. So let's just try to get through this. Okay, so unguard. Um, so I'm gonna be unguard. So is it, it's gonna be uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so B is how we uh, actually do it, and then Z, and then okay, yeah. All right, I think I got it. Whoa, that was special. Uh, coin. All right. Uh, coin. Oh, okay. The first one was the really exciting one. Uh, another entrance. Coin. Okay. Well, well. We'll get that when we can get that. Uh, coin, jeez. I'm I'm down with the bananas of all types. Hmm. All right, well. <laughs> I can't even collect that when I'm uh, in guard. All right, funny face. Get there. <clears throat> all right, we got one uh, golden banana this far. I think the problem I have with this level is just the openness of uh, of water. I'm never good with water. I remember I, uh, Ocarina of Time the first time I played that, and you know, there's an entire explanation between uh, my dis of my dis about my dislike of Ocarina of Time, but uh, no need to bore you here. Wasn't there a coin or you know, I, I don't know no coins? Dang, now that I see them, I gotta get them. So. Um, Ocarina of Time, I remember exploring Lake, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I just say Hylia, Hylia, whatever. <laughs> so, oh, test, testing for rareware. We gotta do it for them. We got it, okay. So what if I try to get on guard and then take him outside? It's not gonna happen, I mean, I know. it's gonna go But I'm thinking about it this entire Let's Play while I'm trying to tell stories. I remember spending so much time just trying to explore the the bottom of the lake because they're like, oh, there's got to be a, a heart piece down here, and uh, there's got to be such stuff. Every time I go looking for heart pieces, like purposefully, in uh... oh no, I can't accept a phone call right now. Just leave a message. Um, so right now I'm trying to explore the bottom, trying to see what bananas are down here, but I think the, the problem with that is uh, the draw distance. I can't just be up out of nowhere, looking down, and expect to see some stuff. Um, is that tiny? That is a tiny thing. Oh, and then I think over here would be an entrance. So we're all learning together. Uh, I was thinking that it might as well just be like 1999, and I'm playing this game for the first time when it comes to these later worlds. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's go back down here. <sighs> scouting, scouting, scouting. Okay, so there's more of those treasure things. Gee, that looks completely... Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, that certainly is not open. Okay, so I see some um, you know, some ditty stuff. Uh, I believe there's some chunky over here. <laughs> some chunky, that sounds funny. Okay. Um. 
So we've got to become unguard again. All right, that's enough. Next time, next time we, well, I kind of wanted to. Texture kind of looked like bananas. I don't know how that worked. Okay, so oh, well, look, unguard. So can anybody become him? Let's not mess around. If it's available right now, did we did our testing earlier? So let's just do that over again. But uh, we should be able to swim a lot faster because we, you know, have a fin now. We're fins. Okay, so this is a, a Diddy level. Oh, you suck! I, I didn't. I wasn't trying to go into, you know. Wow, I don't even remember their names. Glorified eggs and ham, you know. <laughs> um, that almost that that almost works out. But what that is, that's a um a breakfast restaurant chain here in Reno. It's really well known. I think I think it's just year over year counted or voted the best breakfast place. Um, reminds me of um. Okay, so there's another breakfast place called. Okay, so there's a breakfast place called Heidi's. And that moved into downtown. Ah, uh, well, I'm going the same way. That moved into downtown uh, some time ago. Um, story with that in a little bit. There's also a uh, place called Kimmy's uh, Coffee Cup. And uh, with Kimmy's Coffee Cup... Oh, okay, let me just explain what's going on. Like, what, how these are related. So, both breakfast uh, places. So, last weekend, Sarah was saying that she wanted to, you know, wanted to go to a breakfast thing for, you know, just whatever. I mean, that's kind of her, her deal on weekends is, like, she wants to go out, and though she'll swear, like, oh, no, we shouldn't go out, you know, uh, this day because we should be safe. You know, it just you know, it works. I mean, that's the mentality of, of a woman, but that's I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's how it is. So far, I'm just bringing up coins with this stuff and seaweed. Mm, okay. So Sarah says, go to that uh, breakfast place, and I was like, uh, okay, so the one near Target? And she's like, no, I thought there was one over by the, uh, the empty parking lot mall, uh, not mall, uh, the theater. And I was like, uh, okay. So the thing was, yeah, Heidi's was over by the, uh, the theater. <laughs> um, but, as I just said, it moved, and I incorrectly directed her and some friends there. Uh, once upon a time, and we ended up going to mm, what's it called? Big Bear, Bear, Black Bear, Black Bear Diner. That's what it was called. Okay, I can jump out of the water. That's important. Um, so I say Black Bear because that's sort of a uh, California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada uh, chain. So you might recognize that depending on what part of the country you're in, or if you're even in this country. And something tells me I shouldn't bother with the, you know, jumping out until uh, we raise the water level. So, uh, I, I say, I think you're thinking of the one by Target. And I, uh, she's like, well, you, you, well, you gotta be right, you know, one of those, <laughs> one of those guilt trips. I was like, no, I just honestly think it. I said, alright, tell you what, we'll start, well, we'll, ju we'll head just straight down Virginia Street, we'll start over by the empty parking lot, and then we'll see if, uh, if, uh, if it's over there. If not, we'll just continue down Virginia Street. So, we're over there, we look over by the empty parking lot, it's just a bank, and I said, well, that's, that's where, uh... Oh, I just went, upgrade your instrument. Hopefully for everybody. Yeah. Probably increased range. Um, so it's just a bank over there, so if she's wrong, then I explained to her that Heidi's moved into downtown. So, after, you know, driving down a bit of little bit, uh, we eventually get to the target area, and I say, well, this is, uh, this is a breakfast place. I don't know what it's called. I'm, you know, not a clue. And, um, so, wow, it looks like everything is hinged on, uh, raising that, raising the debt limit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's on my mind right now. <coughs> I don't know what it's called. We find out, we get in, it's called Kimmy's Coffee Cup, and I say to her, well, there used to be a restaurant here, but then, you know, good old recession style. Um, it went out, and it was called, uh, like, Southside Breakfast. When really the Southside is, uh, 
Reno can't grow much more north because it because the northern end it's gonna it hits a mountain and then there's I mean there's towns over there anyway there's uh, Stead and Lemon Valley, but uh, it grows exponentially south. Uh, because it's just flat range, it heads into Washoe Valley, and I think Washoe Valley is in fact a town a little bit south here, and that's where uh, Reno really grew um, until Z recession, and uh, yeah, I knew that was gonna work. But the funny thing is, is there's a a hospital, and I I know I'm privy to all this information because I sort of work for it with the uh, insurance company, but there's a hospital on the south end, there's a hospital on the north end. Um, both under the umbrella of Renown. Dropping all this information. Um, no, it stays lanky. Might as well. Um, and the place where I worked before, the slot machine company, that was on the south end. And that's where the big bucks were, you know. Northern end was downtown, so it's drunks and, you know, all sort of uh, unmentionables. Um... The South End is where uh, all the, the big industry is happening, all the big businesses. Uh, and slot machines are big business. Imagine that. Um, now, with the recession, uh, casino income is down, which means less uh, purchasing of uh, slot machines, which means lost income to slot machine companies. And uh, so that's sort of where <laughs> a lot of uh, the new developments were, were <laughs> being built and then suddenly stopped. Uh, if you want to go... Here's where it relates. If you want to go to an emergency center, uh, don't bother with uh, going um, to the northern end, even if you live over here, which I do. You do not bother with uh, <laughs> uh, this one. You, you go to the south end. That's where the, all the urgent cares and all the emergency rooms are. Like, there's, it's just available. You, you walk in and you're, you can get immediate care. It's not... Well, not necessarily because uh, that hospital is run better, um, which I do think it's in the top 100 uh, hospitals in the United States. It's just that nobody lives there anymore. Everyone lost their jobs. Mm -hmm, look at me, uh, and, or had to just move elsewhere to get a job. So, <laughs> Southside development has stalled. Now, I'm not sure where I was going with this. Let's see, North and South Side. No idea where I was going with this. I'll find out later. But uh, really, I think I was going with was Kimmy's Coffee Cup. We um, oh yeah, I was talking about that. It used to be called the South Side. <laughs> the Kimmy's Coffee Cup. I thought it was just some sort of startup. But when we started reading the menus, you know, just what do you do in a, a restaurant? Read the menu uh, and uh, turn it over to the. I think it was on the front. On the front, it said locations: Reno, Nevada. Read the next one. Brea, California. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Brea is my dream town. Brea, California. And uh, I start reading more. Um, it's got a location in Fullerton. Like, no shit, Fullerton. I have connections to Fullerton. Um, and then Orange, California. And uh, it's it's spelled like placenta, but I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be mean and just call it pl placet, plus whatever. It's all locations in Orange County, and like I'm saying, like wow, like uh, <laughs> it it started in Orange County, which is where I wish I lived. Um, and you can call me an idiot later, uh, and just one in Reno. So uh, this is not a not so much a small time, uh, just random startup. It actually start started in the uh, world of dreams, and that is Orange County. Oh man, I could talk more about Orange County, but it's just gonna run into stories that uh, probably don't want to be heard. For uh, all of our international viewers, um, Southern California—I mean, I think—how uh, did I make the division? Like all the movies in the '80s and a good part of the '90s took place in New York, and then. Um, then afterward, all movies take place in Los Angeles. So Los Angeles is right above Orange County. Oh, great, another bitch crying. Uh, yeah, I'm being insensitive because I'm the only one talking here. I'm like, I, I really don't care. I'm intent. My intent is to have fun with these Let's Plays. Uh, notice I haven't freaked out yet. Probably have to collect something for her. Well, I, duh, it's a platforming game. You gotta do all this. 
Uh, right above Los Angeles County is Orange County, and the below that is San Diego County. All dream places, except for Los Angeles. Can you believe it, Tiny? This reptiles by... Oh, pearls. We've got to find pearls. All right, well... Wait, how many pearls? Um... Can we talk to you again? Hmm. Okay, well, I... I remember pearls being a, uh, a hot item. Hot item. Now it's just like actually getting to the pearls. Um, I don't feel we've made much progression here, cause like, wasn't it? Everything seems to hinge on, as I'll say it again, actually raising the water, and I think it has to do. With, there's got to be buttons up here. Uh, for oh, hey. Hey, let's get on guard again. Is I oh that's not a four, that's a plus. Duh. Okay, so let's let's do the on guard. And I didn't even check to see if Tiny could do it. I just my impulse is Lanky. Lanky seems to have an odd connection with on guard. Yeah, let's let's stop talking about Orange County. Let's start talking about Southern California. Because I'm talking about it's a place I want to live. And everybody's just saying, like, no, it's terrible. And I was like, no, you, you, you don't understand. With my with my dream also comes the intention of being rich and living in California. So, that's the deal. Speaking of the deal, what's the deal with this? Was I mean... Okay. That. Eh. Oh. Well, some donkey bananas. Okay, well. Sorry, they're a bit camouflaged. Oh, and transparent. It's, that's of no consequence. We're lanky right now. Well, maybe something important happens over here. That doesn't even look like it's available. Oh, that's not a plus, that's a down! Okay, I think... I think we're getting close to understanding. See, that looked like a four last time I was down here. And that was last Let's Play. And I think we can actually hit that. Hit it! I gotta say that every time. I think we can actually hit that as Engard. So... Let's try to do some swoon up there. Whoa, okay, that didn't work out. There we go. And now the water goes up. And I think our first thing, the first thing that we're going to do, uh, let's ditch this guy. Because we're, we're now dealing with this part of the, uh, the, the world. Oh, he's got bananas hanging out over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa okay, yeah. I was thinking about, like, well, next time I'm lanky, I'll get the bananas. I'm lanky right now. Okay, I, I might have some other bananas hanging out, but uh, my immediate thought is Donkey Kong, because this light tower belongs to Donkey Kong, per my recollection. <laughs> let's just get, let's just get on with proving myself wrong. Um, okay. So that's Donkey Kong. That's a five. That's a Diddy. So Diddy's got to go to the top of the the light. How is it one? That, those are. Chunky but uh, coins, and oh, well, let's just start with this. This probably will do something important. Any sight of a golden banana? Nope, it activates something. Okay, so let's. Oh, this is where this is what I spoke about the first time. There are paths to take, and uh, we'll just do it again if we. Fa oh, okay, full circle. So. That arc is done. Hmm. Oh, banana. Okay, so I guess the idea is like you follow the banana, and that will take you into the loop because that's immediately appealing to go forward. You gotta, you gotta deal with hard stuff. Hmm. Is this gonna do a full circle? Okay, coin. <laughs> Wow, that was a funny experience. Okay, so, uh, not the coin. We're gonna do the banana, which is right after hole. 
Oh, wait, that's a coin, too. Well, those are nanners. Hmm. So that appeared to be the path. Whatever, we're done. If we're missing stuff, maybe we'll visit again. I don't know. Oh, the seal. God. Story about seals. They're annoying. Oregon Coast, uh... Honeymoon. Um, I mean, I can't imagine seals living in such cold water as the Oregon coast. <laughs> it ain't like Orange County's coast, Long Beach. There we go, let's talk about Southern California again. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was, like, a, a, let's see, we are in Newport, so, uh, how to tell the story? I don't know, there's a rock island shortly off the coast, I mean, eyesight, ear range, you can hear all of the, uh, the seals, and they do make that barking noise. Um, and there was probably about 20 uh, on the dock, just sort of lying in the sun, drying off. Let's see if we can get in time. Mm. Let's try this again. Um, and they bark continuously. There is no break. It's just and you you hear it as you're walking towards the dock, just like, are those seals? Wow, they really do bark. Wow, they never stop. <laughs> so it it's a possibility of being annoying, but for me, I guess it was more of a funny observation. Okay, well, Chunky has a place in here. I keep on thinking that Chunky has something to do with that. Well, maybe it stays, maybe it'll just stay with that. Okay, yeah, there should be a ladder or something right here. Um, well, I didn't see it on the... Yeah, I just, I chose to ignore it. Um, by the way, that seal, what it has to do with, uh, with us, is I believe it's another race, so... Maybe we'll be fun like uh, the actual car race and they'll only take like two tries. I'm going about this all wrong. There we go. Oh! Oh, banana. Can I actually... No. Can I... That gate is... Or the railing is kind of in the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looks stationary. Uh, it <laughs> couldn't take one try. Of course not. I was thinking that. I was like, wait a minute, this is working out unusually well. I think I'll probably hit the banana from here. Or the balloon. So it's gonna be right there. So, scrap attack! I think one of them will hit them. Look at that. We used to be uh, living in the projects. Now he's he's all the way up to 60 bananas. Oh, great. They don't run in opposing exact opposite patterns. They run on their own independent, not necessarily in sync pattern. Ooh, just like that. Oh. Really? Okay, time to live dangerously. Yep, bypass! <laughs> Um, I th believe the first time I looked at that, it looked like an accordion, but I think that's a Tesla coil. Jeez, you can put it on this end. There we go. So we can fall off the edge. Hopes and dreams destroyed. Okay, oh, so it's a lighthouse. Duh, it's going to light the bulb. And so that's going to start spinning, and that's going to do something for us. Oh, that's definitely a ditty area. Uh, can I get a banana? I mean, I, I let I let dude out. Uh, the uh... oh, the ship. The uh, the gloomy galleon, as you say. Yep, I'm totally. Uh, forget health. Wee. Oh, I wanted to land all the way down. 
I have to take two hit points now. No, oh, no. Oh. that. And I believe with that balloon, we're done. Alright. We're gonna switch to, um, Diddy real f Not Diddy. Um, okay, question answered. Yes, we're switching to Diddy. Do we have a five? No, no five yet. Okay, um, I know there's a transport on that guy. Okay. Do we have a one? Yes, we have a one. And... Okay, uh, Get it away. Wait a minute. Wait a wait a second. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a Kong specific banana, but uh, uh, transport pop cap. You know, whatever you want to call it. Um, did he? I thought there was a a changey Audi thingy. Um, over on the lighthouse. It, it's whatever. We changed. Come around the uh, corner here. And that's for Diddy. Okay. Well, I haven't even bothered stocking up on a. Um, well, coconut crystals, but what does it matter? Okay, so he has. Uh, oh, he opens that up, which is where a bunch of his uh, bananas are. Oh, that's a mechan. Uh, that's a mechanical fish, and. Uh, I thought I heard a time limit. Well, let's let's do it. Let's uh, give that a shot. Okay, let's find one. And if memory serves me correct, we gotta get swallowed by it. I don't know. We have a we have a lot of time here, and part of me believes that it has to do with once we're inside it. The time limit still applies, so. Okay. Whoa, slow down. Okay, so, swallowing, that is correct. I'm gonna shoot its heart or something. Oh, oh. Okay, the. It's not displaying a time limit. That is really making me nervous. Where are you? I just need to get rid of that thing. Okay, so, um... Oh, we need to stock up here. Because, uh... Eh, it's not gonna be a... Smooth road. I just sort of remember. Okay, so... Things open. Okay, next. Oh, time limit starts when we actually hit it. Okay, that thing. And then next, we do this guy. It's just wherever the, the fan blades stop. Oh, and it's shaking is not helping the aiming. It's taken on water, I believe you, you would say. Still lit up, okay. Okay, that's taken out. I, I kind of remember not doing well on this thing before. I wonder what the deal is. Okay, th and the next thing is going to be... Yeah, it's going to cover up that one. The next one is going to... Next iteration... I hear a bee. <laughs> Shoot, I thought I would actually get a double hit in there. And then wait for it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It don't matter. Yeah! Wait, sneeze, alert. Oh, it's a heart. <laughs> I think I noticed that stuff before, maybe. Okay, so once we get this thing, uh, how do we get out? <laughs> That's my big question. Oh, he's invincible! He took that... He took a grenade to the face! And we just get out like that.
Wow! See, that makes me feel good. I just... We just did it. And just went with it. In the past, that's taken several tries. Oh, I thought that was, place was still open. I was like, uh... What lies beneath? Really? So, you see, it's not all mini-games. There's, there's some stuff going on. Okay, um... We have, uh... Okay, so, I think how we're gonna finish this one out... Um, we had 83 bananas when we began. We have 87 now, so that's four. That's a modest gain. I mean, we we haven't been flipping out and trying to you know, break stuff like last time. Let's try to get his bananas here. Funny, he has so many bananas over here, and uh, not much to say for it. Okay, so all this stuff. Okay, that that's uh, okay. So this part of the world, we're done with. Um, I'm just gonna pop up here and make sure there's no like balloons. Oh, the well, there's a balloon. Okay, so it's not completely done. Hmm, where's two lead to? Oh, he's that place. Same place as one. Well, I want to go back to the uh, the lighthouse. Oh, convenient that we can do it like this. Because he's got some bananas hanging out over there, and I just want to make just super sure that we're done. Let's, uh, let's try to remember, because I'm probably going to listen to myself on a happy uh, happy episode. I might have said podcast earlier. Hmm. No. Oh. Okay. You know, I'm recording right now, and you know what? We're, we're not quite done. There's, I want to get his bananas up here. And that... Oh. Oh, yeah, because it picked up one of the things on the way down. Okay, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, I want to get on that ship. And hopefully this doesn't take too much time. And I don't see of any other means of getting on that ship other than what Diddy here. Oh, look, there's a Diddy button. Okay, let's start up over here. I don't see anything special. Let's go up the mast, like I know anything about these things. There's a big hole in the mast, okay. And then look over here. I don't know, with, with, when you encounter ships like, uh, well, Skyward Sword, you know, most recently, uh, encounter ships like this, it's just sort of like, huh, what can we do? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lesson in, in inertia, guys. You jump up on a plane that's going, <laughs> you'll fly backwards. No, you won't. You're going the same speed as the plane. I was just up there, dude. Okay, I thought I saw a, a, a tiny uh, balloon, like, jeez. Thank you, camera. But it was over in that cave over there, so I'm not gonna worry my pretty little head about it. We're just gonna get the banana. Not worry my pretty little head, as in, I gotta stop saying pretty. Not worry my head about it, because it, it'd be like, okay, so how do we get her onto the, uh, the galleon? We just didn't access that cave over there. Okay, so maybe now, next time we go, I can concentrate on Chunky because there's some Chunky stuff. Oh, man. It just keeps on coming up roses. Roses are red, like Diddy's color coordination. First spam attack. Okay, he's up to 60 also. I don't think we can actually get in this cage. This is the cage that, uh, uh how you say, was, uh, <laughs> The seal came out of it. This looks like a good place to stop. But, you know, I won't, because there's just so much stuff to do. Three! Okay, we're, okay, we're getting tiny. It's real fast. I swear, we're, we're ending this real soon. Although, you're probably looking at the YouTube bar and thinking, there's several minutes to go, man.
Okay, that's that's how we're gonna go. We're gonna get Chunky as a reminder for he's got some stuff to do. There's a there's a balloon over there on the other side that we, we should really think about. And number three, he can get that remaining. He can redeem himself. Right there. All right, that's your inspiration. Head back here because it's a fixed camera and it's easy to return to something like this. Pause. Save. Okay. So we actually, uh, what did I say before, we, we have we have 88, so five bananas in this playthrough. All right, that that's good. Kind of really getting back into it. Storm, if something pisses you off, just just let it go, man. Let it go and try to access it some other time because we're trying to make a entertaining product. All right, well that was episode 15. Uh, and. See what did we what did we discuss here that was interesting? Breakfast shops and my obsession over uh, Southern California. So ask about that in the comments. Um, at this point, we don't have very many viewers. It's still on soft launch phase. I haven't even got a uh, uh, background or a picture for uh, this uh, this channel. But uh, <laughs> when that time comes, when you're watching this, when we have lots of viewers. Uh, talk about your thoughts on Southern California, and tell me why I'm wrong with wanting to live there. Especially if you already do live there. Alright, thank you for watching. Once again, I say that, and we'll catch you again real soon.